All right, guys, so we are back. Not really back, it's been forever since I filmed the video. Um, but this is gonna be the first video we are filming here in Florida. We are at the Royal Athletic Gym, brand new while we're doing my prep. Um, so before I get started on this workout, just a little um, background info here. Um, so yes, after New York, uh, me and Matt decided that it'd be really cool for me to come to Florida, train at the Royal Athletic Gym Club, be closer to him, be in just a better all overall environment and you know, have him oversee the whole prep, have him keep an eye on me the whole time. Um, and I just said, yeah, bro, let's just do it immediately. You know, we didn't really, I guess at the time, discuss when I would come down, but I just said, I'm gonna come right after New York, basically. So um, we are a little under 17 weeks out. And the first workout we're gonna do today is a push day. So Matt has me doing uh, push pull legs. It's kind of like a, you know, it's push pull, then we do off, legs off. But at the moment, I've just been kind of doing like a two day on, one day off type of thing in a PPL type fashion. Um, but I'm very excited for this prep. And um, yeah, we're gonna get started here. First movement will be an inc incline uh, Smith press. Um, I don't know how heavy I'll go, how light I'll go. I haven't done this movement in a while. So um, warm up properly, and then we're gonna get into it. So 275, as I said, I haven't done this move in a while. So two and a quarter, felt moderate, but you know, I don't want to go crazy. So I'll do a couple reps with 315 here. And then um, this will probably be my work set. I'd like to hit probably eight to 10, but then start progressing from there. So. Oh, 
good starting point. So now we'll do a back off set. Um, I want to make this one a little more higher rep, so we'll probably just go down a whole plate, two plates, and try and get a good like 12, 15 there. Whew. What's fucked up is I never, I said I'd never come back to Florida. Now I'm back doing a whole fucking prep here. I guess you miss things when you're gone for too long. Fifteen. You got exactly what I wanted. I always start every chest workout with an incline. It's everyone's weak point, so execute it. So I'll get a little deeper stretch, but that might be too much. I'm not that flexible. So basically next exercise, flat Nautilus press. This is the OG. This is something, first when I used to train with Matt, when he used to live in Georgia, we used to go to this corny ass LA fitness. And this was a staple. About 10 reps there. That was good. Take a good long rest period. You get right back into it. Neat. I always get nasty pumps, you know why? Because before I come here, I sip the Nick Walker pre-workout. HD muscle, co-mutant. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not co-mutant anymore. Code Nick. Let me, let me paraphrase. We had some issues in the past with that name. So, Code Nick. Urging. 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 
Make sure you rack your weights, children. All right, now we'll finish off the chest pushing of the workout with a fly. I'm trying all the new equipment out here. So I haven't done this yet. It seems like an incline fly. So I'm gonna fuck with this. I'm gonna just see how it feels. That feels good. That felt good, it was kind of heavy, so we'll do the working weight here. It's a good machine. So that's two sets there. Last one we really took to the failure on that one. So we got a good pump. So now we're gonna go on to uh, the shoulder pushing. But make sure you rack your weight. I start every shoulder workout with side laterals, no matter what. Presses are wonderful, but if you really wanna create that wide, wide look, side laterals. City is king. Now we're going to a shoulder press.
two sets there. Partials at the bottom. That was good. Now we'll do another side lateral movement. Probably dumbbells today. Haven't done dumbbells in a while. We'll do some dumbbells. First tricep movement, it's gonna be this Atlantis push down. I'm a, equipment wise, listen, I'm a big fan of Atlantis, New Tech, um, and Prime. I just find those brands to be the smoothest at a smooth. Um, so I definitely wanna capitalize on all that. Um, so we're gonna start with this push down. And since I am training a little more frequency, pretty much everything gets hit every four to five days. Um, I do have a different workout for the, um, when, I, when I hit it again. So like this might get substitute for like a um, one arm or a, a rope push down. And the next week or the next workout, we come back to this, so forth. While the next push day might be a little more focused on shoulders. Um, depends, you know, I, maybe not, I might not do that. Only because I think my shoulders are more dominant than my chest. Um, so I might just keep doing what we're doing. But if I feel like my chest is a little too sore for that next workout, I might do a more shoulder fo focus at that point. But as long as I feel like things are going the way they're going, I'll just keep it a chest focus mainly.
was heavy. Do a rest pause there. Overhead tricep extension. This is um, a new tech piece. Very good piece. I used to use this all the time in Vegas. This is probably my favorite, smoothest overhead extension piece. Finish off with some dips. All right, so normally after like a push day, uh, whatever day it is, I usually end with three sets of dips or three sets of push-ups. This one we're gonna do dips. I am using uh, assisted here, just because it's at the end. And honestly, I just wanna make sure I get a really strong contraction in the chest and I'll just, you know, bounce all my shit. Um, so that's, that's honestly mainly the reason. And to, like even on my uh, pool days, I'll end with uh, pull-ups at the very end using the assisted so um, I just think it's a nice little burnout finish it off you know when we do pull-ups you are hitting lats you're gonna hit probably a little bit of traps a little bit of rear delt little middle back everything same thing with dips you're gonna hit the triceps shoulders chest same thing with push-ups so I just like to finish off the workouts with either one of those and that'll basically just fry everything
Oh, oh shit. We'll do one more set. And that'll be, that'll be it. That'll be it. Oh. Oh. All right, so that was it. This is how I'm, um, you know, probably training now leading into the Olympia. Very cool, very exciting stuff. Um, honestly, I'm happy to be back in Florida, you know. Um, you know, I'm happy to be closer with Matt, happy to be in this cool environment. You know, and honestly, it's been a minute since I've been to, it's been a couple years since I've been to the other Revive you know, where I started, the OG. And even that gym's badass, you know? So it's like, we got the best of both worlds. You know, I'm like 12 minutes from that revive, and this is like 25 minutes from me. So, I mean, either way, it's not so bad, but, you know, environment is everything for me. And this is definitely, this is definitely a great environment. So I'm happy to be prepping here. Um, like I said, it would be better for me and to be uh, more, you know, hands-on, eyes-on approach and be able to just really hone in on, you know, the craft and make sure we're damn near perfect, if not perfect. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so we are going to be putting more YouTube videos out. I'm going to do my best to get as many out as I can at this point. So, um, yeah, we'll see you for the next one.